<laughs> Alright, so we're approaching Veldreth, the final boss of the game. So we're going to want to make sure we desecrate the Altar of Adoration to go into hard mode. And basically that's going to give her more health. Now you're going to see the map. I'm going to place a marker in the middle arena. And that's going to make more sense later when we go into the catacombs, which I'll discuss. So this fight has a lot of mechanics that uh, we need to talk about. So first off... Um, whenever she she will pull you in and basically devour your ultimate so if you ever have your ultimate just go ahead and shoot it off or basically she will pull you in and take it away from you anyway now the heavy attacks and the light attacks from her can cause quite a bit of damage so the tank really needs to maintain aggro this fight because if the DPS gets that aggro um, they can really die in one hit from Bell Address. so she's pretty strong in that regard and then she'll also spawn these spores throughout the map that you're seeing here, which are red right now. Now they can be red, green, or blue, and that correlates to the type of damage that it does. The red spores cause health, the green cause stamina, and the blue cause magicka. And if you hit one of those spores, it's going to take away that particular um, you know, resource from you. And then she'll spawn some adds throughout the fight, and two of them are going to be Atronox, some flesh Atronox, and you need to take them down, and they're going to have a little light that you can pick up with your synergy. And the reason is, is that periodically she's going to take you into the catacombs, and that light is going to keep you safe from the darkness. Now that marker that we put in the center of the map now is up top, so I know if I'm on the northern catacombs or the southern catacombs, which will give me the direction that I need to go. And there's three doors that you're going to be looking for to go through, and in hard mode, only one of them will be open. We got a little bit lucky there, and it was the first door we ran to. And the person with the light can see the traps which you see here on the ground. The ones that are highlighted with the red will cause spikes to come out of the ground and the ones without the red will not. And the spikes will obviously do a little bit of damage and slow you down. Now when you get back to Veladreth, you really want ideally both sides to jump in at the same time. And then once you get back in, we're right back into this fight. So you see she's eating me there and basically devouring my ultimate, which we talked about earlier. And now the spores are green, so they're going to take stamage, uh, stamina away from anybody that they hit. So the catacombs, um, that's going to happen to you twice. And the person that has the light does not want to sprint. You want to just run a normal pace and make your way through the dungeon and the, or the catacombs and the reason for that is the player without the light needs to keep up with you and may get hit and you want that player t to be able to sprint to catch up to the person with the light if should they ever fall away so you're gonna see me grab the light here which is already around me um, for the next trip to the catacombs and throughout this whole fight there also will be um, a couple additional adds that spawn and you're gonna wanna take those down as much as you can as well because they can cause the tank some problems um, by taking damage from them and Veldreth at the same time so keep your AoEs up and keep smashing so here we go back to the catacombs one more time and you're gonna see that I do not sprint okay I'm just gonna take a normal pace and allow the person behind me to sprint to catch up if ever necessary and again we're going to try to avoid the red circles which you see here he stepped on one it causes the spikes to come up which slow you down and uh, cause damage so here's what happens if you get to a closed door just immediately turn around and look for the next door and our waypoint will again make sure that we're going in the right direction and heading back to Veladreth. so we come up here our doors open and we're moving forward so just make sure again you see how I'm not sprinting I'm just running a normal pace and allowing the person without the light to stay with me and sprint to catch up if ever needed because sometimes they can get stunned or anything by the enemies behind so let them do the sprinting you have the light just take your time so here we go that's the last time that you get banished to the catacombs so the other thing that you need to know about this fight is sometimes she will say don't move a muscle and that's going to happen up here when she says that she's going to go to the top of the ceiling and I'm actually going to show you what happens if you mess this up she's going to go up to the ceiling and you're going to have a little AOE underneath your feet and if you move at all you will instantly die or basically the tank may survive it but you're gonna see what happens I move a little bit too early boom a spike comes up and kills me so whenever she says don't move the muscle do not move and then when the little AOE goes away you have to roll dodge forward to avoid another damage that will come from the ceiling 
So we got a little tripped up right here, but we do recover. And those are really the only mechanics that are in the level. So uh, hopefully I've covered everything and makes this fight make a little more sense to you. It is a difficult fight. Uh, I will be fair. She has quite a bit of health. Her attacks can do a lot of damage. The spores are numerous and can really lower your resources pretty quickly if you're not paying attention. Um, so this is a difficult fight. Um, just bear with it and you'll be able to uh, finish her off. So we're going to execute her and we'll talk about the monster set at the end. So, pretty fun dungeon. I really enjoy that dungeon. A lot of cool mechanics um, to learn about um, as you're playing through this dungeon. Uh, you will guarantee yourself a silken ring motif if you beat it on hard mode. And then the Velda Dress set just going to add direct weapon damage as well as a 20% chance to spawn disease spores that cause 12,600 disease damage to the first enemy hit and can occur every 9 seconds. Great DPS set. I actually use it myself. It's very good. Well, I hope this helped you guys. Um, if you like these videos, feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.